you could send them off the, the bridge, say first person to find one wins a thousand bucks, send them off into the river. Into the river? Okay, wow. Um, so we have the forgotten F-350 behind us. We haven't done anything really with the truck since we got it. So we have the doors shut because it's 103 outside and it's a little better with them shut. We cleaned up the facility a little. We got rid of junk over there, cleared a bay out. Um, but we just took one problem and put it in a different place. So now we have the stuff that was in the bay is now in the back of the truck. So we were looking for a legal means of ridding ourselves of that junk. And uh, we came up with nothing, as you can see, because it's still in the back of the truck. Sitting in the truck, air conditioner on, because it's 103, humidity's off the charts. We uh, came up with the conclusion that the factory wheels with the 35s got to go back on. Burnouts. Today marks the day of the final preparation for the makeover on the single cap. So whoever previously owned the truck put a leveling kit on it and they used the little spacer blocks that go beneath the coil, not above the coil, on the bottom of the coil. And that's all that they put was just those blocks. So now if you guys have ever lifted or leveled a truck, the axle, whenever you raise, favors one side. And to go at that problem, you need a longer track bar or a track bar drop bracket. So what we're currently dealing with is whenever we make a left-hand turn, the coil right there, the old rusty coil, hits along the frame. And it kind of makes you wonder what's going on up in the front. You know, like if you got a bad wheel bearing, if something's gonna fall off on you. So pressure on the side takes the coil and rubs it on the frame. So that is what we established was what was going on. So we ordered ourselves adjustable track bar. We got one in the old abandoned office here, but this is a PMF. And we're probably gonna use that one on here. We're gonna go through and torque all the bolts, check all the nuts, check all the slack. Clean up the rust, clean up the frame. The inside is clean. Under the hood for a 2011 is also extremely spotless. I don't know if this was regularly detailed, but you did a fine job. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna check the fluids, check the coolant. We just changed the oil. It already has one of those S&B intakes, so that's done, that's good, ready to go. So the Platinum's a 2017, this truck's an 11. So we're gonna do an 11 to 14 bulletproof kit and show you guys, you know, the parts, this and that. Just waiting on a couple things to arrive here. Um, the main concern that probably won't be addressed with the bulletproof kit for the 11 is the turbo. You know, if you guys are familiar with those turbos, there's a twin scroll kind of compressor wheel where there's two inlets to the turbo, a top side and a low side, both go into the compressor. Um, Runs pretty nice on the bottom, but doesn't like to be overspun or, you know, tuned heavy, but sounds good. Cold side pipe on these is plastic, so that needs addressed. CP4 needs addressed. 
a couple other things here and there, you know, bulletproof kit. It's going to be cool. It's a great truck. You know, I really like driving it. It's pretty agile, especially when we put the factory wheels back on. It's going to be a real, real good runner. You know, the little, the little wheels right there are going to be real nice. These aren't too practical, but we had to do it for the young guns on the gram, you know, get them out there, get some pictures. Even though we only put two pictures out of this thing. The tent job on here, I don't know if someone was getting ready to learn how to tent or, you know, really what was going on with that. Not talking smack or nothing, but tent's coming talking. off, all of it. What? Talking. Huh? What are you talking then? Just saying the tent's bad. It's not, it's not smack talking if it's the truth. Uh, the brow is seamed behind the mirror. There's, you know, it's a little, a little messed up right there. And it's, it's absolutely enormous. You know, I thought the brow was, was bold. I thought the brow was bold on the uh, platinum, but I mean, this thing, you're looking clear through about 5% tent when you're trying to go to the uh, McDonald's, you know, but I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll fix that. Back side of the tent, I don't know if he had a blaster rack, you know, attached to the window or what really was going on, but it was removed and then it left the marks and the glue and holes and stuff on there. So, you know, that's got to come off. So looking through here, you know, we got that window down over there on the passenger side and, you know, that should be, you should be able to see through there but I think it's 5% over 20%. So, you know, it's just a little dark, you know, when it gets dark outside, you can't really see nothing. So that's gotta come off, so. We also ordered some proper fender liners for it, you know, to go in there, make that look a little prettier. But, but aside from those handful of things, it's a very nice truck, you know, it runs good and handles well. Everything's tight, transmission's good. Um, Engines smooth as can be. You know, it's borderline smoother than the platinum over there. That's uh, 17, it's 11. We did put the custom tip on there. You know, you guys have a lot of questions on that tip right there. That is a eBay special. That is a dual six inch tip. So that'd be a five, a five to a six. Those are both sixes, dual sixes. Five inch inlet, dual six outlet. All we did was, was trim back the tailpiece a little bit, you know, back to you know where, where it would go, where the bend would start. And then uh, put on an old clamp, you know, that we had laying around here. And uh, she's on and it's very sturdy. It's on there very well. It looks good with the, with the wide wheels on there, but it could go a little further back with the factory wheels. We do have this random wall window unit AC in the wall. Um, what you see is, is how it was when we got it. So that's what you see is what you get. And it, it works. I mean, there's cold air blowing out of there. Oh, that's tight. So what we did here is we went to the local auto body supply. We got ourselves a nice box of goodies. Um, you know, we got the cup to do the thing with, you know, um, stirring straws for, for all that. We got ourselves a, a quart of that paint, paint matched quart, uh, Omni plus by PPG. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna fix those rust spots with this here. And also, we got ourselves uh, some chassis savers. So when we get the frame cleaned up, let's give it a nice fresh look with some chassis savers so it'll keep it, keep it looking right. Because as of right now, the frame's still good. But that Chevy outside has, has another story with the frame. There's major holes, Swiss cheese type holes in the frame. And that's a uh, 70,000 mile garage kept Chevy. 1500. So we're going to get ahead of the curve chassis saver. Also got ourselves a nice touch up paint bottle with a little brush in there to 
go over any strength. Though. We're trying to make this thing be show ready. That's a that was a smooth removal. Not a sponsored shout out, but these tires here, the Amp MTs, the Attack Terrain, whatever they're called, Terrain. What are they called? Terrain Attack. Terrain Attack MTs, 35, 1350 R24. Now I bought these used. I cheaped out, got them used. I mean, they were new when they were used, but these things have been a lot of miles, a lot of burnouts, a lot of idiotic driving on the Platinum. They were on the gray truck. They were on the blue truck, the Velocity Duty. They made it onto the single cab. And I mean, like, what more could you ask for on a mud tire? And they ride well. They're smooth. They haven't been rebalanced ever since they were new. Look at that. It's crazy. So I don't know if this is going to work or not. But I got this red Scotch Brite wheel from Renegade. And there's some, you know, some stuff on here where it looks a little, you know, iffy. Um, but, you know, that can be all fixed so see what happens no that didn't really work all it did was give what was left of the polished a brushed look which figured that was going to happen but it's the chrome coating, you know, coming off. So we took all the good drills to the house, you know, Milwaukee and whatnot, but uh, went down to the old H&F, Harbor Freight, picked up one of these Bowers for like 40 bucks or something. I mean, we use it, we get this thing wet. It just keeps on going. I didn't get the warranty either. You know, why, why would you get the warranty? I feel like that's a, uh, that's a scam, that's how they get you. But also, you can get the warranty and then just keep going back and getting a new one every every so often. You know, we use the absolute dog crap out of this thing and it just keeps on going. And it's got the little battery on there too. And listen to this puppy. I mean, it's not, not, not a Milwaukee, but you know. I mean, this ain't a wheel detail restoration video. Just gotta make them look a little better than they currently look. Okay, we officially made the truck lame again. I mean, that's an arguable point, you know. Some people say it's lame with the wide wheels. Some people say it's lame with the stock wheels. It's all personal preference these days, you know, whatever you wanna do. All right, guys, check this out. Okay, so we went over the whole, uh, you, you know. Hold that the whole time? Yeah, we're gonna go like this. We went over the, we got a microphone, we're just gonna hold it because it's gonna work. We went over the truck, so you know everything that's wrong with it, you know everything that we're gonna attack to try to make it great again, make power strokes great again. Great truck, real great truck. Just, you know, we'll clean it up. So anyways, what we're doing here is a podcast style ending to the video. So check this out. So, the 2000, and 23 power strokes are trickling about. Did you see them? Is that the one with the headlight? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. So we're gonna pull it up real quick here. We're gonna pull it up. I gotta remember it, look at this. There are probably a couple places, but Illuma Duty has the spots right now, has the insights. So posted seven hours ago from today. What is today? 20 something? 20, 22nd. 22nd, seven hours ago on the 22nd, they posted this picture that has uh, some 23 Super Duty leaks, okay? Some guy, ST James Auto Parts, has a bunch of 23 Super Duty lights, and they look goofy. So the 23s have officially been leaked. So here's a video, check this out. I'll put it on the screen so we can see it. I mean, from the back it looks the same, the cab looks yeah, similar, mm -hmm. dually fenders look similar. 
cab, door handles, mirrors, all look similar until you get to the front. Now the grill goes into the light. I do not know how I feel about such a thing. You know what that reminds me of? Sort of looks like the Shelby. I don't even know what the Shelby's look like, but it looks like the Shelby. The Shelby F-150s? Yeah. With the, yeah, yeah. Is. Okay, okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. There's a picture there. So you can see what the grill looks like. And it looks like on those headlights with the, the leaked headlights where they had a bunch of them sit on the ground, it looks like that grill snaps onto those headlights. It looks like there's little snap points where you can kind of attach it to the headlight. So hold on, we'll go back. Yeah, let me see that. So if you zoom in on these headlights, you can see those little squares. See those little uh, squares? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it looks like the headlight is just its headlight, and then you have the decorative grill attachment hmm. that snaps onto the headlight. Now that's where you're gonna lose me if that's the case. If you're Ooh. snapping on a grill piece, like that right there, if that grill protrusion to go into the light is snapped on there, I mean, it would have to be because there's, you know, you got a headlight and a grill. I don't know. Yeah. Now, this is just on the sport models and up. Yeah, probably Lariat Sports, probably Platinums, you know, the base ones with the non LEDs. They don't look like they have any grill protrusion going on to the light. But any higher trim package looks like the grill comes into the light. So, 2023s have been leaked in a way. Now, I'm starting is to sweat. just enough information to make people talk about it? Them showing that. Yeah, because the rest of the truck's wrapped, but they unwrapped the whole headlight. Now, with these car covers, do they make them so they look like the older style? And what's under them, like, do they add. Okay, say this used to be like this. Now they made it square. Do they put something on here under those pads to make it look as if it's old, but there could be a new right. design be under it? I don't know. It's a good question. Or am I just talking dumb? I don't know. Because like you said, I mean, everything else on the truck... Yeah, the body looked looks the same. the same. I mean, if you look at the front bumper, it's slightly different on the uh, fog light area okay okay I see but it, yeah. i mean opening all that style general like style of the bumper looks very similar to right, the previous right. years because i mean obviously you could see that it looks the same but what is the reasoning for them to do all those weird dot designs is it to mess with the eye of the body shape yeah Thoughts throws your eyes it. out of whack right it makes you think that it looks like the old one but realistically it's different so in this picture you can see that the grill is black and then the part of the grill that goes onto the headlight is chrome. Right, so this right, is probably, definitely just probably a test truck, you know, they're just testing it out or whatever. But that is what it's going to be. It I mean, like realistically, the I'm, I'm going to have to say I'm going to give it a thumbs up. You like it? I'm going to have to say, yeah, it looks different. It sort of looks like Transformer style yeah. integrated into the new. So... I don't know, guys. What are your thoughts on the 2023 Super Duties with the grill going on to the onto the light? I'm up in the air about that. I don't know. I'd have to see one without all of the or the stealth clip wrapping. On it, it just those are push points. So if the grill rubs on it, it hits those stoppers. So it's not actually scratching the lens. So who knows? I don't know. We'll see. They're probably going to be releasing an actual, real uncovered I'd truck soon. I mean, soon. we're coming into July. You know, the 23 models have to be getting ready. Supposedly, the chip shortage is over. Um, but that's could be fake news, could be conspiracy, could be not. Don't know. Setting you up for failure. I don't know. That's it. We're out. Um, you've seen everything wrong with the truck. We're going to start on that very soon. The parts are going to be arriving here in the next day or two. So we're going to get tearing into this thing to get it you know, prepped up, done, ready to rip. Because the main thing is just that track bar. We got to extend that track bar to get the axle centered back under the truck. Yeah, everything else is cosmetic. Yep. Cosmetic and preventive. So stay tuned for part one of single cab makeover. We're out. Let's do the roll away. Peace. Roll into the trans. Roll over here. Shut the camera off. <laughs>